check day 20. Cat number six. I harvested one that I was trying to let go after he attacked me. A little 20 pound tom that was really beautiful and had a lot of silver in it and some really good spots. So it was a good cat to keep, I guess. This cat's rabbit backed and even though it's a little pissed off and even though even though I recently uh, got attacked by a cat I think I'm going to let this one go it's a pretty big cat but I, if I've caught six cats in the last 20 days then my last two months of trapping season when the fur is good ought to be great and if I'm setting for cats solely in places where I got cats on, I'm going to catch my 20 cats. I've already got one of 20, I guess. But after that cat attack, I had to put it down, even though I was letting it go whenever it attacked me. And uh, I got it up most of it on video. I'll show it whenever I put my show together. But I'm going to have to take the skull to OSU veterinarian in Stillwater. Seems like the vets around here want to charge you an arm and a leg just to get that thing down there even though the service is free, but if I cut that skull off myself and take it down there, they don't charge me a dime. And they'll just tell me what's going on and advise me from there. So I don't think I got rabies. And I don't think that cat has rabies. And I don't even think I got bit. The uh, interaction didn't last long enough for that, but I definitely got bloody in the hand and on the face, on the head and on the top of the head too. So this cat here fell to, um, Casey Payne's biting pool and just some urine you can see I had a little vertebrae but piece of vertebrae in there and this set's been sitting here for I don't know 18 days a little bit of action a little bit of action on the set across the two track but but this cat finally went down so cat number six be the fifth one I let go out of six on the 7th of December that other cat I caught two days ago on the 5th so I'm gonna let this cat go unless it attacks me and then I'm gonna kill it too but it needs it needs to prime up for a while Well, this is a double front footer, as you can see. This is uh, coyote number 14 and check day 20. And uh, really dark phase coyote. If you look at it, you can see there's a lot of dark in it. And uh, I haven't had much action on the set. I have a set just over here that I caught a female in and she chewed her tail off for some reason. I've never seen that happen before until now, but that was a week or so back. And uh, this set was messed with a little bit. I thought it was dug up, dug up by coons and then I saw that the dirt hole that was in it, it's got some uh, Andy Weiser's Range Boss in it, which is really good. And uh, I, uh, I noticed there was a little bit of scraping going on, so I, I drilled another hole three days ago uh recovered the trap made sure everything was looking good and blended in and i uh put that new dirt hole in and i add a little bit more range boss in there on the other side maybe i put a little oil in there with it and uh today we've got number 13 number 14 on check day 20 sitting here and i got four more sets in this pasture to check or this uh hay field so that's pretty good after catching that cat already this morning We've got uh, coyote number four, 14. So check day 20 has been fruitful. I've still got, I don't know, 16, 18 sets left to check. 
and this is a really good set location. So I'm gonna get this coyote taken care of and move on down the line. Well, folks, got a pretty huge coon. Pretty big coon. I've seen bigger. Really light colored. Pretty good looking coon. See how much light is in the face and how dark the eyes are? That's something I don't normally see around here. This might be a coon we're skinning. But it's a little small, and the smaller coons don't bring as much. It's pretty fat though. I don't know, I'd have to wait to find out. My judgment on whether it's uh, huge or not depends on it actually being huge. This kind of a mid-sized coon around here, I guess. Just the fur is just so thick, it looks like it's bigger than it was, but you get up on it and you kind of see. It's not too big. That's a 550, it's got a back foot in. I had a really good set in here. I guess it's just gonna be added tr attraction, but all these cattle trails running from this pond that has had otter in it in the past and beaver and coyotes run these trails and I have two sets in here and I haven't caught any coyotes on them yet. I caught some, a couple of coyotes up on that gate right there. But we got this uh, coon. You can see that fur. It's pretty decent. I normally just ditch coons, but this one's a little violent. It kind of wants to get me. So I've had my uh, fair share of violent animals the last few days. So we're going to put this coon down and probably take it home and skin it. Might be the only coon I skin. We'll see. We don't have much longer until the bellies get yellow. So that hadn't happened yet. So if we catch any really big coons between now and January, we'll probably keep them. But that one will make a nice hat. I think this is only the fourth coon I've caught. I got 14 coyotes, six cats, only four coons. I've had coons flip off a couple traps, but usually they get caught in those 650s, and those 650s won't hold them very well. I did pull one out of one once. Till then, Dominion out.